Today, our resilience, or our ability to quickly recover from challenges, is being tested in countless ways. And we know that Americans with low resilience are five times more likely to be impacted by COVID-19. Hi, I'm Doug Nemesek, Chief Medical Officer for Behavioral Health with Cigna. The Cigna Resilience Index, along with our Loneliness Index, show just how widespread feelings of stress, anxiety, depression, and loneliness are today. And these feelings, if not addressed, can lead to worsening health conditions in the future. We're also seeing just how significant an impact the COVID-19 pandemic is having on the American workforce. Employees who have low resilience are more likely to have lower satisfaction at work, feelings of low self-worth and self-esteem, lower professional ambition and performance, as well as worse mental and physical health. We spend so much time at work, 90,000 hours across our lifespan, so a positive work culture can have an extremely meaningful impact on our overall well-being. There are many things employers can do to help their employees be more resilient. Support inclusivity, so workers feel like they belong and have a sense of community. Encourage diversity of race, ethnicity, socioeconomic class, religion, sexual orientation, etc and provide resources and services to help people feel healthier, both mentally and physically. Managers can start by taking the time to build relationships within teams and having frequent two-way conversations, even about difficult topics like systemic racism or the state of the business. Make sure those conversations also include discussions about available resources, such as employee assistance programs, COVID-19 specific safety measures and tools, and family resources. Engaging in these conversations and offering supports can help build more resilient employees. Resilience is such an important theme today because it really matters. A resilient workforce is not only a productive workforce, but a healthier workforce and can help drive lower healthcare costs too. Cigna is working to help providers better screen for behavioral health conditions. A change in mental health can be difficult to diagnose and for primary care physicians, not knowing what to look for or where to send patients can make the task even harder. Especially today, there's too many people who may not share feelings of stress or anxiety, but are really struggling and need someone to turn to. This latest research reinforces the need for people to speak up, whether that be to their doctor or just a friend, because saying something is a sign of strength. And for healthcare providers, it's also easy to check in with their patients, even during a virtual check-in. We all have the ability to change and adapt. Our research shows that resilience is a skill that exists in all of us from a young age, and it works like a muscle throughout our entire lives. As a global health services company, we wanna make sure people have the opportunity to be the healthiest version of themselves. Recognizing when you need help and identifying who you can turn to can make all the difference when what you're up against seems like an insurmountable challenge. There's an easy way to remember what you can do in that difficult moment. Pause and focus on how to grow. This means grounding yourself in the situation, recognizing what you can control, organizing the resources you need, and working with your community for support 